If you create a discussion topic within my courses where you want some, where you need some high resolution images, you want to follow this tutorial where a student clicks on a little thumbnail image and a larger image shows up. Now this larger image will show up in something called an overlay, which means it's not going to be popped, blocked by a pop-up blocker. This method will avoid having your image take up a lot of space on the discussion question prompt and this way you can make a small image and let the student see the real detail of that image. Now you want to follow this tutorial carefully. You should also note that this tutorial assumes you feel comfortable working within the HTML source code and if you do not you should contact my courses for faculty uh, at spcollege.edu for help. Now there's a few things you want to have done before you even start this whole process. You want to make sure you have your uh, images prepared. That means you'll have two images, one small, one large. The small image should be resized in a graphic editing program like Photoshop. You should have all of the images uploaded to your uh, co uh, course my F manage file area and it's best practice to put them in folders. And then finally there is going to be some HTML code that you're going to need and we'll get to that in a minute. So you want to go ahead and start your discussion topic. Within the description text area you want to click on the HTML source editor icon and now what you want to do is you want to highlight the code, the HTML code that starts with iframe and ends with iframe. You want to go into your HTML source editor and you want to paste that code in there and again it doesn't matter where it's placed you want to click save. Now you want to click on insert image and again it's assumed that you've uploaded your images already. You want to click on course offering files. You want to click on quiz whatever you want to navigate to wherever your images are found. You want to choose the radio button next to the smaller image and click add. Then you want to click on the checkbox next to this image is decorative and click OK. Now what you want to do is click on the image itself to select it and you want to now click on the insert quick link. You want to click on course files and navigate again to where you have your larger image and then you want to click on the name of that image. Now what you want to do is you want to copy the target equal overlay and you're going to go back into the HTML source editor and you're going to find where it says target equals underscore self and highlight that and now you're going to paste the target equal overlay and you're going to click save. Now you can go ahead and finish your discussion uh, description. You can do it before if you want and then you click save and close. So what's going to happen now is that when a student comes into the discussion topic and they click on this small image, it will open up in what's called an overlay and the students can see um, the high resolution image and see all the detail. They can close it and do it at any time that they want. 